Hey guys, uh, sorry, it's, uh, this is from my webcam here. I tried getting my camera to work and it wouldn't. I'm going to do a little what's in the bag for you guys quick, uh, enraged golfer. All right, here we go. First off, I'm going to start with the driver. I've got, yes, there's a purple bear head cover on there. Pretty sweet. It's Grateful Dead, I know. I'm not really a fan. I just saw that it was purple and I loved it. Uh, sorry, my clubs are a bit dirty here. Uh, I just got done playing. Or, actually, I didn't get to play today because I've got a strained disc in my back and it only let me swing at about a third of the power I normally do, so I just wasn't having any fun. First off, I've got an R11 there. Uh, it's custom R11 with an Atas. Oh, God, this thing's... Addis is what I call it. It's technically pronounced a toss, but I hate that, so I call it Addis. It's a 60 gram extra stiff flex. Very nice driver. When my swing's on, which normally is nice mid piercing ball flight, low spin, beautiful. Um, my putter, grab that. Got a white iomic grip, uh, custom PVD black finish shaft. It's a Orlando PGA Show Mills head cover. TP Mills is by far the best putter maker in my opinion. Beats Scotty hands down. Um, it's a soft tail custom. Uh, it's not too customized. I had another one that was a little more customized. Some snow stamping, uh, T-stamp. It was very nice. I just wanted to save a little money. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but... Uh, there's there's a little angle at it. The milling on there is just gorgeous. Awesome feel. I gotta keep this oiled uh, so it doesn't rust. Got some uh, nice little limonades there. Just put those down on practicing. Uh, let's see here. The hybrid. We've got an Adams black super hybrid tour issue very nice purple multi compound on there oh yeah uh driver's got a white multi compound two wraps two wraps under this um this has an mm, there we go Addis t2 8x awesome awesome club uh hit this quite a ways it's usually about my 260 club uh, 260 255 depending on the lie that i've got Oh, and then this three wood is absolutely beast. I got a rocket to her cover head, head cover on there. Um, it's the Burner Superfast 2.0 TP. Awesome. It's a nice compact head shape. I don't know if you guys can see it. Very compact, very nice, long, very hot face. Um, and this I've got a Matrix Ozic. I don't know, it doesn't say Ozic on there, but it's a Matrix Radix prototype 7321. Uh, very nice shaft, uh, New Decade multi-compound white. I had an Iomic on there. I honestly hate it. Much too soft for my swing. Uh, it just didn't mesh well with me. This grip made all the difference. Two wraps under there. Um, very nice, long three wood. I hit some bombs off the tee with this thing. and I use it from the fairway occasionally, but I can usually crank my driver out there far enough that I don't honestly need to use a three wood. Um, and plus using my irons is just more controlled for my irons. I've got Bridgestone J36 combos. Um, I'll grab all three of them here. These are fantastic. And for everybody out there getting all the tailor-made irons and saying Bridgestone aren't good or whatever, cause they aren't a heard of brand. These are, I had Mizunos, um, I, before I switched to these. I honestly like the feel of these better. Um, could be because of the shaft change, I don't really know, but they're very nice. Um, so in four or five and th or three, four, five iron, I've got the Bridgestone pocket cavity. I don't know if you can see it there, but very nice. Uh, all these have the Project X 6.0s. I can swing a 6.5, but it just doesn't feel right. It's forces me to swing too much and this lets me keep my tempo um and then in the seven eight or six seven eight irons i've got the bridgestone cavity 
and see right in there those two little stripes there those originally had some blue and black paint but it was really ugly so I stripped the paint fill and it looks much better now um, and then in the nine and pitching wedge I've got blades very nice awesome feel again just phenomenal and then my two wedges I carry a 52 and a 58 they've got Lampkin performance plus 3 gen uh, stock shafts wedge flex and I'm honestly this is probably the club I'm gonna get for Christmas either scratch Vokey something like that just to improve on these a little bit I mean these are great I just need some conforming grooves I mean I don't need them but I'd like to practice with them because I'll eventually be switching anyway uh, I've got a Mizuno MPT 10 um, let's see here 52 ooh, let's see 52 degree um, 7 degrees of bounce and a 58 degree uh, it's actually 56 uh, there we go 56 10 degrees of balance but I have it bent two degrees weak so it's a 58 degree with 12 degrees of balance um, on the bag here I've just got a couple golf gloves on the handle uh, water bottle my tailor-made wrench, oil cloth from a putter, uh, so I can just oil the putter down after a round. Um, I've got my valuables pocket, my rain jacket in there, uh, and this is just a little lucky knickknacks pocket. Uh, got some eye drops in here to eye drops keep because I've got a dry eye problem. Some crazy tee I found on the tee box once, a wristband, because I wear lots of wristbands, I don't know, yeah. Uh, and a Spongebob ball that I found on the course, and I just thought, heck yes, yeah, Spongebob ball, so I wasn't going to use that. Um, in the ball pocket, I've got some white tees, which I'm just going to finish up using these because uh, they leave quite a few marks on my driver, and I don't like that. Uh but uh, the ball I play is a Callaway Tour IZ. I've got a bunch of these. Um, probably going to switch, get some Pro V1X or something. They're good balls. Uh, not too expensive. So they're a little hard, but I honestly don't mind. Uh, they perform very well for me. The only reason I'd switch to Pro V1X is switch up the feel a little bit. Other than that, uh, that's what's in the bag for uh, Enraged Golfer. Uh, so, see you next time, guys.